how to create Shopify gig on Fiverr. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can create a Shopify gig on your Fiverr account. It is very easy and simple to do. Here in this video we are going to be uh, clients and not sellers. Uh, so we are going to publish or put a request on the website of Fiverr. Then we will uh, invite uh, air or match make a match in for the freelancer to uh, here to fulfill our needs. The first thing that you need to do is to go to fiverr.com. As you can see here, this is the landing page of fiverr.com. Then you are going simply to click on sign in if you don't uh, if you have an account. If you don't have an account, it is very easy. All you have to do is to go and join, then you will be good to go. You can see here, you can join by Google, email, Apple or Facebook. I'm going to sign in with my account. A little disclaimer guys, everything created in this video such as email addresses, phone numbers are created for the sake of the video. They are not used for any personal uses. As you can see, we have successfully connected or logged in in our account. Now we have the Fiverr Marketplace. As you can see, you can hire a freelancer and see these services from here. I'm going to look, for example, or for Shopify or for, to, for you to uh, create the Shopify gig or the Shopify request. All you have to do is to click on the icon or the logo or the photo that you have posted for your profile. Click simply on post a request. Here it has two phases. The first phase here, brief description, and the second one is add timeline and budget. Here they said, let the matching begin. I'm going to give the project a brief title. For example, I need a Shopify like that, Shopify. Right, this is wrong, Shopee, and here uh, the arrow Shopify store design for example or template template like that and this is the point here what are you looking to get done you are going to put a description that will help the brief get you the right talent or the right freelancer we are going to put some specifics right here so the freelancers will be matched up. Now for the description, what are you looking to get done? I am going to put a description and I am going to be a little bit specific on what I need. For example, uh, let's type, I need a Shopify, like that, Shopify store, uh, Shopify store like that, theme, setup, setup, and a specific, for example, specific, uh, specific for digital products, project products like that. Uh, and here the specification, for example, specific, not like that, but specific like that. Uh, here I'm going to add some details, uh, preferably for probably only like that uh, blue or a royal blue color with a lot of uh, widgets of communication for example communication and um, let's say communication and easy easy uh, surfing and also and rapid or uh, agile like that agile response here we have a little description you can add some more details you, you have until you reach 2000 character now we have this description finalized uh, it is looking good uh, here if you don't know how to make the great description all you have to do is to click on how to write a great description right here click on this and you will see some bullet points that will be uh, helping you to make the good description how to write a great description the first bullet point make it clear what you want the final deliverable to be include specifics the more the better 
share references and inspiration, use links or attach files, throw in your preferences like voice and tone, style, etc. Got it? Here for the files or the reference file, you can go ahead and search for a website or like that. I'm going to Shopify, Shopify. I'm going to see some themes. For example, I'm going to copy links of themes. I'm going right here to my store. Let's go to my store. Then we are going to see the themes that are available. Let's go ahead to the uh, theme library. Let's go and explore some themes. Here we have to visit the theme store. I'm going to put here a design since it has uh, Shopify has a very expensive uh, theme stores like that. Uh, let's say that this is for free. I'm going to see an expensive one like that. This is very expensive. I'm going to view the demo or try the theme. I'm going to view the demo store. This is the demo store. As you can see, it is uh, up to $300. I'm going to copy the link or I'm going simply to take a picture or a, a screenshot of the uh, website. Then I'm going to search for paint. Then like that, copy, paste this theme, save this file like that. Then I'm going to put Shopify, Shopify like that. Also save. I'm going to exit this, exit that and go ahead on attach files, put a Shopify. This is for the uh, for the more details, I'm going to simply right here type uh, example or sample sample of the theme needed needed like that, but uh, is on the image is attached like that attached and the thing like that is to change the color to royal blue like that and here we are then the second thing that you need to do is to put the category for the project you have to choose a category for example website builders design this is it and here we go themes and plugins installation customization uh, I'm going to put here web development, web design. This is it. Which is your industry you are in? I'm going to put, let's see, what do we have? Media and entertainment. Let's go ahead with media and entertainment. Click on next here. We have, I'm looking to spend here. You have the budget. I'm going to put, um, uh, since the, uh, website or the design costs $300, I'm going to put only 50. My budget, I'm going to say that my budget is flexible. Let's talk timing here. The ideal delivery time or date is, let's go ahead and give, for example, to uh, three, six days. And here you are going to click on review your brief and you are uh, finally click on a submit and match you and you will wait for the freelancers to uh, give you some offers. That was all for today's video. I hope to guys that you have enjoyed the content and see you soon on the next one.